that shit. Ooh. Let me see what is out. Okay. This beat right here is the hit. Put some shit on it. Um, just out to make a little bit of money. We wasn't mm -hmm. serious. I mean, mm -hmm. even at the beginning of NWA, we wasn't that mm -hmm. serious. We were I wasn't serious with it until we got picked up by um, a major label. Right. You know, at the beginning, we were just let's make a record, sell them out the trunk, mm -hmm. and get us some ends to eat. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Straight out of so, back, back on the past right now, you know, this is what we're talking about the past. How close was Dr. Dre and the NWA family all right then, back at the time? Um, back, back then, me and Cube was mm -hmm. close. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody was everybody was kind of close. We were in the studio because yeah. that's where we spent most of our time at. We go in the studio and we there for like eight to twelve hours, mm -hmm. you know. And then after that, you don't want to see them no more. Yeah, yeah, you know. But um, we used to hang out every now and then. Mm -hmm. Early in the morning, hop into the BNZ. I got 44 ways of getting paid. Sitting in my lap as I roll up the fucking blocks. The school bus ran, I heard shots. I mean, like, say, like, we young kids coming up, right? Because mm -hmm. back then, when NWA come up, we was all young kids at that time. Mm -hmm. Was Dre, like, serious about his production? And, like, bringing NWA out? And, like, saying, yo, this is what's happening right now in L.A.? Or nah. what? Nah, I wasn't, I wasn't that serious with it. Like I said, man, I just wanted to um, sell a few records.